Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, which is my web university at youtube.com. And uh, basically uh, the purpose of this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate or uh, show you what are some of the resources that I have recently built for you using my uh, YouTube channel, which is my web university and also my YouTube channel for uh, the Persian or for C or the Re language, as well as uh, my website uh, called mywebuniversity.com, which I have a lot of resources as well there. But before I um, start this video, I wanna just run a short video to demonstrate what I'm planning to um, provide you with uh, the resources that I'm providing you. I'm hoping that someday millions of people will enjoy learning online courses for free uh, through my web university website as well as my web university um, YouTube channel. And then a lot of documentation that I'm going to show you as well. Please watch this video for uh, to the end of it. I can guarantee you that you're gonna benefit and you will be pleased because uh, the purpose of my job, my work, my life is to serve you, to inspire you, to make sure that things that are not available for you for education, make it free for you and also write documentation. And so you don't have to buy books and you don't have to buy a computer to do it. All you have to do is just, if you have internet access with your cell phone or um, even like a laptop or something, desktop, whatever you have, you can access um, the um, Google or YouTube uh, and then start learning. And then everything will be on YouTube channel for free for you. And as well as uh, the documentation will be online. When I say you don't have to buy a computer, I mean that um, you don't have to have a Linux machine in order to learn a Linux machine. You don't have to have a, a cloud uh, environment to learn uh, cloud in, uh, environment. You don't have to have um, Linux, uh, Unix, Mac, uh, Windows, everything uh, installed, Python, C, C++, everything in order to learn them. I just provide you everything on my cloud. Um, all you need is a browser access and internet, and then you just uh, could, uh, start learning. That have the desire and learn it at your own pace and you're at your own pace. So let's uh, get started with what I'm going to show you today. As you can see here at my web university, I'm on videos right now. If I click on shorts, I'm going to just um, run this video, uh, which is um, uh, a short video and uh, talks about uh, Steve Jobs is talking about like inspiring people and what is a great uh, leadership. But what is important for me is that he, at the end of his video, he talks about that um, there are developers and there are people that they're um, seasonal uh, developers or um, builders that they could make uh, changes with their fingertips and then um, have the technology and information at uh, their fingertips and they will help the uh, society around them. And I think uh, a lot of you guys are um, one of those people. I'm hoping that someday I could do that, the same thing, or I have already been doing it. Uh, and um, we all could contribute as much as uh, we can. Uh, every little drops that uh, uh, is uh, raining, every uh, drops as uh, combination makes the river, right? If it's every drops that counts, and, and then so it, it's a very little thing, could it still count? Let's play this one. The greatest people are self managing, they don't need to be managed. You, if they know what, if, if once they know what to do, they'll go figure out how to do it, and they don't need to be managed at all. What they need is a common vision, and that's what leadership is. What leadership is, is having a vision, being able to articulate that so the people around you can understand it, and getting a consensus on a common vision. We wanted people that were insanely great at what they did, but we're, we're not necessarily those seasoned professionals, but who had on at the tips of their fingers and in their passion, the latest understanding of where technology was and what we could do with that technology. The greatest people are self-managing. They don't need to be managed. You, if they know what, if, if once they know what to do, they'll go figure out how to do it. And they don't need to be managed at all. What they need is a common vision. 
And that's what leadership is. What leadership is, is having a vision, being able to articulate that so the people around you can understand it, and getting a consensus on a common vision. We wanted people that were insanely great at what they did, but we're, we're not necessarily those seasoned professionals, but who had on at the tips of their fingers and in their passion, those at the tips of their fingers. That's very, very important. As you can see, this um, bird uh, that I was watching it uh, at the day that I was sitting in front of my backyard, and then um, at the backyard I was sitting in, I watched uh, this bird jump from um, one area to another one. But uh, I noticed that whenever people want to move in their career, they have to know their surrounding. If they know their surrounding, the next move that they make towards a new job or towards uh, their career is always going to be success. By having knowledge uh, and knowing effectively your surrounding, you can always move up higher and then uh, stay there. Don't uh, just move up and then again, drop back there uh, to score one. So the idea of um, helping others, uh, what I want uh, to do is that Everything that I provide you someday, you're going to just provide it to another person. So that knowledge is passed on for generation to the generation. All the uh, people that they're, uh, the, the little kids that are young, uh, going to kindergarten and high school and uh, um, middle school, no matter where they are, someday they are going to be the leader of the world at a later date. If we just make a better life for them so they can succeed, when they are moving, they will pass on the knowledge information there. So let me just show you what I have for you on my website here. So on the uh, YouTube channel, as you can see here, if I go under the videos, I have a lot of videos for you, about 1,200 videos that are uh, discussing computer science related information, uh, information technology, IT related. Uh, so whether you're a developer, sysadmin, programmer, uh, software engineer, you will benefit uh, to some extent from my uh, videos and then and the documentation that I provide. Nobody is perfect. No matter if you're at the uh, novice level, intermediate level, advanced level, guru level, there's some documentation. Assuming that you're at the guru level, then I have this documentation for you that are built since 1969 on Unix and Linux uh, platform till today by thousands of thousands of millions of other developers and great seniors and gurus at the time. And then we are just reading their documentation and uh, reading uh, those manuals that uh, everybody built and we are all contributing. So at some point, even Steve Jobs or someone that was uh, just uh, started, nobody is perfect. Everybody has to learn. When they did it, uh, most of them, they were salespeople or maybe developers or maybe like my Microsoft Bill Gates started with the DOS operating system, developing it. But at some point, we have to contribute to the society. That's all matters. So let's get started with what um, I'm providing you just as a, a tip of the iceberg uh, from mywebuniversity.com. When you go to my Web University main page, you will be presented to this uh, page here. And this page is my main page for mywebuniversity.com. Uh, recently, uh, since Friday, I just uh, did a lot of update on the system. And then um, some of them is just to help you, to help you uh, get the resources easier. So if you're uh, coming on mywebuniversity.com or my uh, YouTube channel in 4C, you could just go and watch all these videos and. Um, if you're going to my Yoga University in English, you could watch all these videos and you just sit down, relax, and all you have to do is learn it at your own pace. At, the, at your own pace. Let's go to my Yoga University first uh, to show you what I have here. And if you go uh, on this page, for example, each of these pages uh, are just a kind of summary of what uh, I provide, but there's a lot of thousands of videos. So I uh, take you to... Um, my channel, if you click on this one, it will take you to the same channel that was there and all the videos are there for you. So, and if you just say, uh, click on videos, you could just watch all the videos uh, one by one, whether C programming, Python, C, C++, Shell, um, 
pub programming, Secure Shell, uh, MySQL, uh, Linux, uh, Linux Red Hat, Linux Ubuntu, uh, MySQL Shell, anything that you want, there's uh, information here. Chat GPT, everything. So let's get back to the actual um, website. So if I go just to mywebuniversity.com and then I say, okay, this is my, the main page, but Wahid, what are you going to show me for this video? And this video, I wanna show you, if you right click here, you will be presented with this page, which is mywebuniversity.com slash table of contents. And on this one, the table of content is my book that I wrote for a Linux platform. It is all online available for you. The entire book, I'm not selling it in Amazon or I'm not doing anything to make money at it, at least yet, but I wanna just give it to you for free. And I wanna just provide you everything online. So you could just come in online and read these books, this book, and then everything that I have here, there's about 13 chapters as you can see. So as you uh, go on the table of content, for example, here, and the preface, every chapter that you click on, it's a menu. It will take you to that chapter. And then the one that I'm going to cover today is uh, chapter 12, which is uh, generating dynamic um, PDF file on Linux Ubuntu. So um, when you click on the chapter 12, it comes out with this page. Again, uh, you don't need books. You don't need um, uh, a Docker, you don't need virtualization, you don't need cloud, you don't need Linux to be installed. All you need to do is have a Linux, I mean, a computer access to the internet or a laptop or cell phone that you can go on your cell phone and just uh, visit mywebuniversity.com or YouTube and find these resources. So let's assume that you come in and say, okay, what am I learning here? You can see here by uh, visiting this page, there's about 6,900 uh, PDF files just in Linux Ubuntu that I, um, if you are on a Linux machine, let's say you're on a Linux machine here, um, I'm gonna quit out of this one because I was coding here. So I'm going to exit out of this screen. If, if you're on this machine, for example, if you wanna get the manual pages for Bash, you have to log into the machine first, then say man for bash, and you get the bash in a text format. So if you just say, well, um, what about man f read function um, and C, uh, you could just get that one. And you say man, um, let's say node.js, whatever uh, information you could uh, look for it, man docker. So some of that documentation, all I'm demonstrating here if you're looking for anything here, this is kind of like you have to have a Linux machine here. And you say that, for example, OS dash release, this is the Linux Ubuntu 22, but uh, you don't have to have this. So you don't have to be sitting in front of a Linux machine. Uh, all you're sitting is in front of a browser. Now I'm going to show you, for example, if you uh, uh, type in bash here, by default, I'm giving the value of bash. So you, uh, it will generate the bash uh, command. And then and bash is right now generated already and it's creating it dynamically. That's very important. So it creates it on the fly and then just um, give you this PDF for format in a very nice way. And you can see it's 84 pages long. So you could just look at the bash, uh, all the syntax of for statement, if a statement, the expression, the while everything that you could just learn the entire bash, which stands for born again shell, you could learn it. And then I have uh, shell script videos that you could watch it and uh, learn it uh, through that one as well. So all the videos that I have done, uh, it could tell you. So let's say you say, well, that's great. How about Python? Can I learn Python? Yes. Just uh, type in Python or Python version three and then just submit and I'll create you the Python three PDF here. And then you just click on it and now you're uh, reading the Python PDF. So you don't need to buy a book for everything that you want to do. Some, some of them, this one is uh, seven pages long, but some of them like GCC, the uh, GCC uh, is for uh, C compiler, GNU C co collection compiler. 
So when you do that one, it's about 366 pages long or something. So let's just look at that one. That may take less than a minute. It still will generate it uh, while I'm talking. It just generated it. So it's like uh, less than 30 seconds. And then this file gets created in uh, 366 pages long. And then if you're uh, reading it, obviously all the um, compilation and the standard uh, libraries like iOS Stream and uh, uh, standard IO.h and other ones. In this case, IO Stream it would be a G++ for C++, but uh, some uh, kind of uh, code for uh, C and C libraries are all here. So uh, C related uh, libraries. And if you say, well, that's great. Uh, how about, can I get the standard IO uh, for C also the header file uh, that is standard IO.h. And when you click on this one, it will give you the standard IO.h. Notice that standard IO.h here has all the uh, libraries. And some uh, body says, well, C is um, old and um, maybe um, it is um, not as much used. And C is the mother of all languages. Unix operating system was written by Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson using C language. Python was written in C language. Go language was written in a combination of C and other languages. All of these programming languages that you are proud of it, that you're happy, including C++ and C sharp and everything, at some point, they started uh, with the C. C is the mother of all languages. So knowing C is gonna benefit you a lot when you're doing programming languages. Like look at all these function calls, um, if end of file, uh, if uh, flash, uh, if get, uh, put is, uh, scan if, if scan if, if print if, all of that one are available here that you can do. And if you say, Wahid, I wanna just read the if read function. Uh, so uh, if read function, and then just give you the if read function here. And it just says the, uh, some examples are there, the size of and, and all the bytes and everything. But notice that it's include the standard IO and other ones are shown here, the main function, everything. So a lot of the C programming language you will learn just from these manual pages. And that's how I learned it, honestly. Um, because at the time I was going to college for my Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, there was not that many book available. And, and, and I'm, yes, I am old. If you look at it for the past 30 years, I have been working in the high industry level, whether it's software engineering, computer science, programming, system administration, or even uh, teaching uh, computer science courses to uh, college level or university level for eight years uh, part time. And I have both my ma bachelor and master in, in computer science, and then I have been doing everything from ground up, uh, whether building or operating system or developing uh, on it or database or consulting or uh, system administration, system analyst. Uh, so yes, when you uh, say the uh, instruction or the kind of code is at uh, the fingertips, that's uh, to some people, uh, it is uh, an extent, it is uh, very, very true. However, what's important is not to brag about it, but just to be happy that God gave you that kind of uh, privilege. Now, how do you utilize that privilege to just serve the community that for those of other people that they need it? How you inspire those people's life? How you make a, a better a living for somebody that is who's less privileged? And I went through a lot of hard, harsh uh, time myself. So I know the pain of people when they say, I cannot afford to buy my own book. That's why I build these things for you. So I know that there are some people that say, I, I wish there was some documentation like this in the past, but now it is, or some people, they wrote me, say, sir, this is inspiring. I found out jewelry <laughs> or the treasure, and it's uh, just gonna help me, believe me. If, if you just are looking for something like this, let's say you search for Node.js. Let me show you. If you're learning Node.js or NPM, so you come in here, click, uh, type in Node, and just say, okay, let, teach me Node. So I click on a Node, and then this PDF comes in. And now you have about eight pages of Node.js. But this is not the only eight page that you can go and uh, read uh, from my website you can uh, just see that the way I wrote these 
uh, uh, PDF file. So first I just took the um, text uh, from the source here, the man pages. So here I say, which a node, you can see that if I say, where is a node, then a node has a user share man, a node one dot Ganze file. So if you say man node, it opens out the uh, section one of the uh, manual pages, as you can see here, section one. And then at the same time, if you could say man, man minus S one, it will give you the same thing, section one. But however, if you say man uh, minus S one, uh, S one uh, friend, that is the um, li uh, programming uh, uh, command line the command line of the uh, print statement in Linux. However, if I just wanted section three of the print statement, then it's, uh, I'm sorry, printf, uh, I meant printf. Printf section three is this one. You can see that it is the standard IO and other ones. Similarly, if I just do section one of it, it is the uh, uh, Linux command printf statement. So now uh, instead of echo, you could also use printf statement to do your statement so you can pass on alert and then uh, backspace and double quotes or and just um, new line character tabs and so on. All of those ones or could be done uh, as well. So now let's say you don't have Linux, can you just get to Node.js and say, okay, I read this information, but I made code reusability with my Python program that I generate this PDF format and I present it in a nice format on a, a website for you that I provide the storage, I pay for everything. And you just come in online and watch it and read it. So now look at this one, nodejs.org. Now I took you to nodejs.org. So code reusability. I didn't have to write all these other sites information at your fingertips, uh, you basically click on it, and then now I provide you the details. And then they, uh, Node.js.org, is providing you more details. So if you're looking for docs here, you could just go on their site and just read documentation. And then similarly, if you come back here, let's say on this one, I'm gonna come back um, on this page, I have to come back here. And then this one takes me back to my site, Node.js.org API again is there. So any link that I provide you on the actual PDF file, when I say I provide you, I mean that um, this is on the Linux Ubuntu technical documentation that is under user share man. So if you look at the uh, user share man, uh, this directory, there are that many uh, files, right? So each of those directory uh, could be under man uh, question mark. All of those ones are there. Uh, man one through man nine section. And then if I, you just say, let's just do a word count on it. It's 7,370 uh, manual pages. So I'm doing all of that one. This one is one of those one. So then you say, well, this is great. I can go to all of these other sites and get more documentation. Yes, you can. At the same time, you say, what about, uh, you told me about the uh, function like a standard IO. Let's just look at the, uh, something like C++ uh, documentation. So you say IO stream. IO stream, it's not there. Why? Because I did not uh, write it. So if you go on the Google and try to find out the uh, a PDF version of a file, then it is not going to be available. Even on Google, if they didn't do it, it's not available. But then if you go to a particular website of uh, C++ or uh, maybe geeks for, uh, for geeks.com or something, they may have something or W3 schools, which is nice uh, that they have. But let me show you a way that I did it for you here. So if you're looking for any command that is not there, I'm going to say, well, it is not uh, found here, but maybe one of these 7,000 documentation that I'm giving you a smaller list here, you could just type any of those ones and then I will give you. For example, let's say you say, uh, give me the uh, uh, FSCANF. Uh, 
if it's can, if and then you just get, get it and just open it. And with uh, reading that one, the see also section will just give you more further um, manual pages that you could also look for them uh, or and just the uh, band pages and more examples. You see, get C and printf and then set local and, and so on. And so let's go back uh, to this one. And then you say, Wahid, if I don't have the IO stream, I'm not satisfied. <laughs> Let me just tell you how I provided that also. So right here, you just go back to my website. Remember I told you that uh, my book, The Direct Path to Linux Ubuntu is made up of multiple chapters. So, uh, and I promise you that if you watch this video, you're gonna benefit it. Let me just tell you how you're gonna benefit your time. It's worth your time. So uh, now, and on the table of content, you see this one, this chapter nine of my book, it talks about the C++ and um, uh, C and C++ header files. So when you click on this one, I present you this table of contents, more than uh, thousands of uh, header files. So then you say, how about the uh, IO stream? Uh, is it there or not? Yeah, it is there. So you just click on it and then I present you in a nice format. And that uh, IO stream is the C, C++ header files for the C++ version 11. And the name of the header file is IO stream. So here is uh, the cat minus N, which is the content of that file that originally, if you're on a Linux machine, you do it like this. But then I had to write uh, the CGI program to present you in a nice graphical interface on a browser. And then you can go on a, this text area you can search uh, uh, as well. Similarly, if you just click on any of them, let's say on bed, you will just see, get that information. And then if you say, how about the standard IO.h, I could say standard IO.h, uh, let's say, notice that standard IO, there's many of them, so I have to give it .h, that header file, to just be specific to that one, and then it opens that one, right? So this is um, another um, chapter of the book. But then on top of it, if you look at this book, there are uh, videos for basic uh, Linux commands that you could learn intermediate level and advanced. And for each one of them, I have videos. For example, if you go on chapter four, uh, four, uh, four and you're advanced um, uh, Linux person that you could uh, learn, Notice on this chapter, I said there's a what is section which describes what is the command. There's a manual page for it and there's examples. So assuming that you click on one of them, let's say you say, what is this P uh, PS3? This is stands for process stream three. And in uh, Solaris platform, this is called P3. But uh, Linux add, out, uh, add the uh, character S after the P which stands for process stream three. So if you click on this one, then I told you that there's three sections. The first section, what is PS3? It says uh, the what is section of it, display a three process. So if you're uh, right here, you could say what is PS3, and then notice that it display a three process. Now I'm providing you that information on graphical user interface. And then on the example, I'm giving you two examples. So let's just, uh, before I click in there, I say PS um, uh, dollar sign, dollar sign. It will just show me the process ID of my batch, that one. Basically, my PS command will just say, I'm logged on on batch, and this is the process ID of it. So dollar sign, dollar sign, point, point to the process ID. The next command that I'm doing is PS1. PS1, I'm sorry, um, PS3, uh, dollar sign, dollar sign was the first one I wanted to show you. And then the second one, PS3, process stream three, uh, process one. PS is just a process command. And then this example, I wanna show you PS3. So notice that PS3, and you can see that uh, it started with system D uh, as main process and fork all these child processes and in a very nice uh, tree format, and you can get that information. So now, uh, if you're not in front of a Linux machine, you are just in front of my computer, then I give you two of these examples. So the first one you click on, I give you, this was your command, a PS3 dollar sign, dollar sign, 
and this is your output. It's a very cool uh, way to do it. So the next one, if you just uh, click on PS3 uh, one, the process stream one, and then you see this was your command and then system D was called and all those uh, sub processes or child process, everything was there. And then you can uh, back, come back here. You say, what about the manual pages? Can I get the manual pages in HTML format or something? Yes, I just generate you the command because you click on PS3, I provide you the output of PS3 in this um, nice area that you can go and read them. And then you say, well, what are some of the related uh, commands? Like uh, uh, what about PMAP or uh, uh, P? WDX and then you just type in that command and I'll print the output. So I dynamically generate it. Like and let's say I you type in P grip for process grip and I'll just give you the output of P grip command. Or just do a P map for process map and then I'll give you the P map. P map, P W D X, P weight, P uh, S3, all of them are called a part of the prop file system. So if you look at this one and say P map of um, dollar sign, dollar sign, and that would just give you a process map of my main process, which is bash, and then all the uh, shared object file, dot so means a shared object file that are um, created uh, as a result of those uh, shared object file, they are loaded. And then the memory area, uh, what is, loaded in memory, uh, all the anonymous section, the shared object uh, section, and there's um, data section and everything that are there. And similarly, like if you look at um, PLDD, dollar sign. So that dynamic link library of uh, uh, windows is matched to uh, the, the shared object files. So since this one is cannot attach to a process, this one it requires pseudo privilege I have to do sudo in front of it, and then maybe it's gonna attach to that process, and it did. So now you have this thing. And if you just want individual files here, you could do uh, LDD, uh, because this one is process uh, LDD. LDD, uh, for example, if I wanna get the Linux virtual disk uh, sh uh, shared object file, then I can get that information, uh, sudo ldd, um, Linux, no such file or directory. Yeah, because the path of that one, you have to give a full path of it. So if I say which uh, or where is, I'm sorry, where is I started? It is not finding it, so let me become root here first. So do su and dash, and then I'm gonna say, um, usually they are under uh, lep64 or uh, lep32, uh, lep64. So um, this is uh, some of them. And then under lep64 uh, is uh, all of the user lep64. So if I just say, ls minus l uh, lib64 and cd to let's say this directory to see how many uh, files are there uh, aside from that one i'm going to go to uh, this this is the directory i want to go and then all the files that has dot share object file i can look at them here so if i just say for example one of them uh, let's call it uh, ls minus l lib uh, star and then uh, uh, I'm gonna just do a grip on it, minus I, Linux. And then notice that there are so many of them with dash len uh, Linux. So uh, this say um, I get the lib uh, C or lib crypto or whatever uh, file that you're looking for, lib mat or something. So let's go to see if uh, the lib mat is, uh, there's a lot of them, right? So lib mat, and then I say, Right here, let's say uh, let m dot so dot share, and this is the main one that is uh, binary. So all I have to do is say, if I say clear screen, uh, let's minus ld let m uh, dot so dot whatever, 
those two files are showing. Now, if I say LDD on the second one, and then you see that uh, it is showing all the shared object files for me. Similarly, for the first one, which is small, but it might be still uh, giving you not a dynamic executable. So when you do a file on lab M start, you can, sorry, um, let me just do this one. Um, yeah, this one was given me. So if I do a file on this one, you can see that what type of demo uh, there. This is just an ASCII text file. That's why LDD did, did not work. But this one is executable link format, and it does tell you dynamically linked uh, to uh, this uh, shared object file, right? So um, the one that is ASCII file, maybe we could do uh, more on it, lib uh, m.so, and you can see that's a GNU LD script output and this, this. So the man pages could give you a lot of more information and, uh, if there is anything. Like uh, this one is not uh, the shared object file, but it is not uh, part of it. And so you have to search for other things for um, the binary uh, in terms of like shared object files or not have, gonna have a man page. It's not a command, it's not a file. Uh, it is a file, but it is not a command or um, something that you could just uh, say, well, I need to uh, do this one uh, like an uh, IO stream or something that you could just look at it. So I hope this uh, information is useful to you, uh, but uh, please make sure that you, when you go there, you're watching the um, YouTube channel, whether uh, you're watching it on English or for C or going to the website. If you go to the website and you search for anything here, basically and this information is there. And on top of it, I did have more chapters here. So um, on the videos that I'm doing here, you can see I also have a Linux Ubuntu um, uh, documentation, as well as uh, this is manual pages for Linux Ubuntu. This is about uh, six or 7,000, all in a very nice PDF format for you. So if you're just, uh, you don't have to type the command or know the command, I thought of that one. So all you have to do is go on by the section and let's say you're looking for system administration mount command or uh, unmount command or something. Whatever command you type in, uh, I will give you that information. Unmount, umount. Uh, umount is uh, for unmounting it and mount is uh, for uh, mounting it. So let's say you mount, there's section eight because there are system administrator commands. So you could just come in and read the PDF for that one. Similarly, if you say, Wahid, well, this is great for uh, Rocky uh, Linux. Do you have that one? Because I'm interested to learn Rocky Linux. Yes, for the latest and greatest Rocky version nine, I have already uh, built this uh, 11,000 something on this uh, documentation. And then all of them, whichever one you click on, I'll give you a PDF file. And then I give full credit to my website, which is my web university, Python programming language, Rocky Linux manual pages, as well as the free PDF uh, modules that I used uh, to write the program in Python. And then I generated this one and uh, a nice uh, table here for you. So you could just go section one through section nine and all of them and just um, at your fingertips, right? I did it and now it's available for you. Similarly, if you're a Red Hat person and you wanna learn, uh, there's about 12,000 of these ones here. This is going to make your life much, much easier. You don't have to be sitting in front of a Linux machine, whether it's Rocky or Red Hat or Ubuntu or uh, just uh, a Windows machine even, I, I have done a lot of work for you here. So when I say it, uh, a lot of them, look at this Red Hat, you just can click on it. Again, I give documentation credit for this documentation for the Red Hat manual pages, as well as Python programming language, which is cool programming language, uh, free PDF libraries and my web university that I'm on honor of the program, um, I mean, the website and everything. I'm the CEO of the company, the founder of my web university. I um, 
built it and designed it since 2000 and then uh, serving t thousands and millions of people around the world and it's helping so many people. I'm uh, sure that when you start using it, you will benefit a lot. Everything is for free and it's going to be available for you for so long that you can enjoy. On top of this one, I mentioned uh, Windows. So you say, well, uh, did you do something for Windows for me also? Not at this book, not at this book. So you can see that this book is the entire book is Linux stuff and Unix and C and C++ and uh, Rocky and Red Hat and everything. But if you go to my main page, on this main page, I have this uh, uh, manual pages documentation here that it takes you there. And then here I have chapter one through chapter uh, six uh, or seven, eight. All of those ones are teaching you something. So uh, I sh showed you chapter um, uh, nine and eight and other ones, but chapter four, I uh, kind of glance at it on chapter four. But um, again, um, for Unix, I mean Linux, sorry, for Windows, for Windows, uh, if you go between chapter two, three to four, I have more documentation for you on Windows platform also. And I also have videos for you on Windows that you can watch. So on um, every chapter that you go, there's a, a purpose for it. This one teach you basic, but at the same time you say, well, where's your Windows stuff? I am only a Windows person. Come back at the bottom of chapter two or three or four, I have this paragraph. In this paragraph, I have um, documentation that is pointing to uh, the Linux and Windows technical documentation. So whether you're a Windows person or a Linux person, just come on one of the chapter two, three, four, and look at this bottom one, and then click here, and you will be presented this all PDF files for um, about 32,000 uh, files, all in PDF file. I already showed you the Rocky and Linux and Ubuntu. I'm gonna show you Windows 11 PowerShell commandlets, as well as Windows 11 uh, help commands. So assuming that you're a Windows person, there's 88 commands on Windows that I provide you the PDF format for it. So for all 88 commands, as soon as uh, you're interested to learn some of them, let's say you are uh, learning the find command. The find command on Windows, and uh, if you come in again, the credit is given to Windows operating system as well as Python as free PDF. And then the actual PDF file uh, for help find is uh, generated in PDF format using my Python program. So if you just come in on Windows, you don't have to be sitting in front of a Windows machine and say help find commands. You can see that it is just giving you this information. I just present you on this page with the same command, right? So you just uh, learn it and you say, well, that's great. How about uh, the find command? Can I uh, just listen to it? Uh, so I don't have to read the whole thing. Yes, you can do that one for Windows. Since it was a small subset, I just uh, generated the uh, audio for it also. You can always go on Internet Explorer and uh, uh, I mean, uh, Microsoft Edge and other ones to just uh, play the AI stuff to read it for you. But if you just come in on this one and you see this, you click on here, it will read Searches it for you. Searches for a text string in a file or files. Find B, C, N, I, off. And then you can stop it. You can uh, move it to some place and start the another files one. files with offline attributes set. String spec. So you can even control the um, person that who uh, wants to read it and uh, how to read it. Uh, what uh, language, uh, uh, male or female, uh, and then it is always English though. So uh, let's go back to uh, PowerShell. So if you come in here with the PowerShell, it's uh, about 1511 um, technical documentation here, right? So then uh, you say, well, how about uh, this one? Let's look for uh, get dash process. If you look at that the get dash process here, it gives you the uh, PowerShell again, credit is given to and where it deserves. And then here's the technical documentation for get dash process. And then you say, well, uh, I see that PS and GPS and all that commands here, as well as get dash process or get help 
get dash process. All of that one, if you're just on a Windows machine here, assuming uh, you're a com on a command prompt, you could just uh, clear here. You could just type in PowerShell here and then say get dash process and uh, it will just get all your process. And if you wanna see what I pr presented you, I presented you to get dash help, get dash process. And so get dash help uh, command, it is giving you that information. And, and PS also runs the uh, get dash process and alias for uh, PS is uh, get dash process. Uh, for get process uh, is get PS. And then if you're just saying, well, um, do I have to start PowerShell uh, from command line? No, on um, Windows, you can also type in PowerShell here and you will just get into the IS, uh, uh, integrated standard environment. And then here, um, PS command will just produce the same thing. Get dash process will pro produce the same thing. But notice that some of them are very uh, more intuitive for helping in there. Similarly, if you just say other commands, you could just get that information. I hope um, these resources are gonna help you. And then if you're a Linux person on Ubuntu, just click on it and then go on the PDF files and then look for anything that you're interested in. Um, so that is uh, the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope uh, you're gonna go subscribe to our channel, make some comments, whether you wanna talk about what the Steve Jobs said about leadership or inspiring other ones. Um, and uh, you're one of those leaders uh, or somebody else you uh, recognize that, that has the leadership. It is, uh, has to, uh, what does matter is that how you change other people's life. To me, a, a great leader is a person that does things for others to inspire and those ones that are in need, not to just uh, always benefit themselves. So um, well, in the process, if you are helping uh, millions of people and then you uh, get help uh, by just uh, getting a recognition for it or some uh, kind of awards or something, that is just part of the process of being a great person or a great leader. But I just get the benefit when you're just having a, a job and helping yourself and your family and you helping uh, somebody in needs, same way that I'm doing it today, someday later. And then we have better uh, people in, in the society and everybody's happy uh, with uh, positive thinking. God bless you all. Take care and uh, I'll see you on the next video uh, when it, uh, time's allowed to make it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.